all right y'all so it looks like the brett community is actually hitting some turbulence and a lot of people are actually still in good spirits it's not you know it's not bringing communities down people have conviction when it comes down to their projects so yeah it's not it's not impacting a lot of people but i do want to let you all know what's going on here we'll be going over it in case you all don't know and it is actually interesting because one of the investments that i'm holding actually did comment up to, to an extent on what's going on so that being said let's let's get into it y'all so as you can see here well insider actually posted just in base meme coin brett was down 34 percent in the past 24 hours following the report of how insiders was holding over 81 percent of the supply at launch now that is crazy that is crazy that is pump and dump primed like that that is that is scary that is very very scary so we're going to look at what people have to say about that and how people feel about that but let's actually go and look at the charts see because it has recovered slightly so as you all can see if we look at the charts here this is the brett chart um this is the spot that they took the screenshot which i don't know how they got the freaking perfect screen like look at this they got the perfect screenshot right when it was getting dogged like that is insane <laughs> so yeah they got the perfect screenshot right there all the way down there and it's it's up it's it's, it's back up it's back up into more of a you know a fair range i guess which I mean, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know how you all feel about that. Are you worried about people holding so much of the supply of this token? Because yeah, personally, I'm not. I'm not a holder. I have to make it clear. I am not a holder in Brett. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm just now getting into meme coins. The one that I'm actually into that's brought, that's brought this to my attention. Yeah, I, I'll let you all know about that one. But yeah, I'm not really heavy, heavy on meme coins. I'm just now getting into it. Just now doing my research. So yeah, well, like, let me know why you all are holding this um why it's such a prominent um meme coin and yeah let me know everything y'all y'all got y'all think about this so look at this this is some of the latest news that's going on with it um so he got blocked after he made a comment about being a um brett being a scam so obviously this is some type of brett holder who's um who has some conviction i did look at his profile um for a second um as you can see this guy has 105,000 followers pretty big um and then his first first little tweet here is fifteen thousand dollars into brett and he's it's already over a million and he's going to hold until it hits a billion so that i mean that's some conviction so obviously this is a brett this is a diehard brett fan right here so you got people trolling him and sending him messages and he's just blocking he ain't got nothing to say to it at all um crypto people are actually stupid they're going to buy the dip on this scam that i knew about since launch i mean but you gotta to be fair if you any project in the world people is going to call a scam that's what's so difficult and exciting about crypto one thing that i will say i don't care about what other people are investing in man do what you believe in but don't over leverage yourself and put yourself in a position where you're doing too much like if you only bring it in like let's say you bring in four thousand dollars a month and you're putting three thousand dollars into brett now that's insane like what are you living on but at the point where you're 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 putting in something that you can lose you make four thousand dollars a month your expenses aren't that crazy so you putting in a hundred maybe max five hundred dollars into brett it makes sense it's not crazy if it goes to zero who cares you're still safe so it's like why why not have conviction in your project when you're managing your finances right i mean if you you will gamble you'll blow five hundred dollars eating out at restaurants sometimes bro you'll you'll blow five hundred dollars having a night out on the weekend sometimes so like putting that in is, is nothing crazy but like if you put your life savings into a risk like this now that is where you know that's a little bit too extreme for me i wouldn't necessarily uh you know say that that's a great thing to do but it's always the people who know everything like oh i knew it was a scam the whole time like we we don't know what's going on but i will i will admit though that looks crazy to me that definitely looks crazy to me i wouldn't touch this personally just off the strength of somebody holding of the team holding like 81 percent of the supply that's dead like i'm not holding that personally but then again i don't have conviction already now if i had conviction if i was fully educated on and all of that stuff maybe maybe it would be a different story for me but yeah i would i would not be purchasing more of this um it was only a matter of time for this scam token so look everybody's down in it everybody's down in it right now um the chosen one can't be broken um so yeah but check this out so we actually had a comment from chuck so as you can see um this is a holder ron is a holder of chuck and he's definitely um a homie of mine he's one of the people that i saw talking about it all the time and stuff like that before i jumped into it he was one of the people that i saw um actually you know bringing attention to the project so 
Chuck, he said, I'm 100% sure Chuck did not do this. Good luck to Brett to bounce back, but maybe it's Chuck's time now. Now, listen, this is not some promotional video for Chuck or something like that, but that is what I'm holding, and I'll have to make it clear because obviously I'm going to say positive things about Chuck because that is what I'm holding, and that's what I'm most knowledgeable about. But personally, I've already heard that Chuck has a lot coming in the pipeline. They're partnered with another company. They're getting put on the exchange soon. And we'll be going over that stuff in another video. But this is one of the 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 first. This is another token on the um on the base network. So it's it's on base. And obviously, you all know if you're investing in Bet Brett, well, you probably know how um how big the, the base network is going to be. Like you you know that all the catalyst that's gonna make the projects on base, you know have the potential to do some crazy things so yeah that being said man like he, he listed some right here he said tokenomics respected kol's charity low m low mc mc to liquidity um ratio in comparisons to other memes coins is phenomenal good chart of functional bot the memes and content are fire i'm um, lp locked contract renounced behind the scenes development what more do you want one thing is for sure chuck is not messing around so yeah um that that's i mean that's pretty much my sentiment with, when it comes down to um chuck as well but th the way that this is relevant this was his response to this the way that this is relevant is chuck actually responded and look what chuck said chuck said chuck has been a community driven project from the start growing every day with organic and organic growth and passion trust is a hard thing to come by in this space and we're working hard to earn every bit of it keep watching we're cooking now this is why I'm invested in Chuck. As you can see, this is a primed opportunity for them to try to kick Brett while they're down. Look at this. One thing that you're not going to see is in these comments. Look at it. All these other projects are here sitting here trashing them and talking about come over to our project. What you're not seeing is Chuck over here, because when you have a good project, you have stuff in the works. You actually have stuff going on for yourself and you're doing a good job. It's actually not intended to be a rug you actually are building partnerships you're building legitimacy to what you're doing you don't have to go and do all this look at any project under here i would stay away from i wouldn't go near at all because if you're if you're doing this type of sleazy marketing for your project how can i trust that you're not doing something sleazy behind the scenes like if you don't even care to try to dog somebody in your own little circle your own little base community why would i trust you not to try to dog me as an investor like that's that's dead so yeah this is another one of those situations where i wouldn't personally be investing in stuff like this and i do look out for stuff like this when i am investing so yeah as you can see this response was definitely professional and they actually talked about what they're doing well they talked about what they're doing well now you would expect them in this position because the um the chart is doing well like the chuck like let's look at chuck so as you can see this is chuck chuck is doing very well chuck is like listen I'm up handsomely. I'm up handsomely handsome. Like I'm 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 up pretty good right now. So yeah, as you can see, um they they can kind of talk crazy. They can kind of be, oh, we would never do that. We could never we would never do this. We would never, but they they don't. They don't they don't talk like that. So you gotta be careful of the projects that you're in, and you also have to mitigate your risk. I I have a lot of different bags and I, and I I'm not over leveraged into any of them. I'm not I don't have too too much into any of them. I'm fine if any of them goes to zero and that that's just that's the position that you want to be in. You don't want to have put so much into something where if it goes to zero, you're going to hate your life. It's like, no, like invest just enough so you can get some really really good profits if it goes up, but if it goes to zero, you invest it just a little to the point where it's not going to change your life too substantially. If you have more conviction in certain things, be my guest, invest more into certain things, but always manage your risk and make sure it makes sense for your situation. But um, yeah, as you can see, man, <clears throat> this is what's going on in the community right now. This is what's going on in the Brett community. It's a lot of people being toxic towards Brett. Personally, like I said, people are gonna invest in what they wanna invest in. I just always preach safe investing. It's really that simple. Whatever you're investing in, be safe with it. Like <laughs> personally, I'm a Chuck fan. I'm a Chuck fan, so I just wanted to point out, listen, this is how a real project moves. This is how real, like not the other people out here trying to trying to shit on, trying to shit on um, Brett while it's taking a hit right now, because that community is already struggling. It's already, you know, it's already looking crazy for this community, and you want to sit here and, hey, screw that, come to us. Like, that's, that's kind of weird. 
Now, I won't be mad if y'all come to us, but it's like, you don't do that. Like, what you, you handle this stuff with class. And that tells you the difference between a project setting out to be a meme coin, but actually bring some types of value and, and actually bring something to the table. Like Chuck is diving into AI, Chuck is diving into gaming, I've heard. Like it's all type of stuff that Chuck is actually diving into. And there's potential partnerships already secured is what I'm hearing. I have spoken to members of the team who said it's stuff cooking up where there's partnerships in certain sectors already secured. It's crazy. It's crazy the amount of work that they're doing. So it's a lot of legitimacy to this project, and I'm a fan of how they are actually handling this. So listen, prayers to the Brett community, man. Hopefully y'all y'all make it through and get past this hump. I'll keep updated on what's going on and talk about this some more in the future, man. Um, and yeah, after the, the smoke settles and we can hear what type of response comes back from this accusation, or the, yeah, like, because basically what's being said is um 81% of the supply is in inside of um inside holders hands so yeah like we'll see what they got to say about that in the future over the next couple of days here hopefully we get some type of response but yeah that's pretty much it let me know what you all think be sure to drop that thumbs up subscribe and turn on notifications and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out fam